In this video, we're going to talk about the various angle pairs that are created when you have two lines cut by a third line that is called a transversal. So uh, for problem number one, angles like these are called vertical angles. Uh, these actually don't have anything to do with lines being cut by a transversal. So um, when you have an X that is formed, you have vertical angles. So just to make a point, let me emphasize to you that in this case, the transversal business has nothing to do with it. All right, um, when you have two lines that are intersecting um, like this, the angles that are across from each other, like X and Y are called vertical angles. All right, and there's actually will be two pairs because we have vertical angles going this way as well. Um, now, for problem number two, angles like these are called alternate exterior angles. The word alternate means that they are on opposite sides of the transversal. This one's on the left, this one's on the right. Okay, that's what the alternate part means. The exterior part means that um, if you look at this like a sandwich, right if you look at the two lines sort of like they're forming the sandwich we have the interior which i've just colored in yellow and then we have the exterior which is left white so the x and the y are exterior they're outside of the lines so if you put those two concepts together you get alternate exterior opposite sides of the line and outside of the middle okay Problem number three, all right, these are alternate interior angles, all right, and again, let's break it down. The word alternate, again, means that they are on opposite sides of the line, but this time, they are alternate interior because they are inside the sandwich, all right, they're between the lines together. So alternate interior, opposite sides of the line and between the lines. Okay, uh, looking at number four. Okay, these are called consecutive interior. Consecutive interior angles. All right, so up until now, the last two problems, we had alternate exterior and alternate interior. And we decided that the word alternate meant that they were on opposite sides of the line. Well, the word consecutive means that they are on the same side of the line. Okay? Um, and they are interior. So we already talked about this. Interior means that they are between the lines. So put those two concepts together, and you have consecutive interior angles. Okay, um, looking at number five, we already talked about this earlier. Once again, we have some vertical angles up there. Those are vertical angles. And once again, vertical angles have just nothing to do with the transversal. Have nothing to do with it. So anytime you have two intersecting lines, you're going to have vertical angles, actually two pairs of vertical angles. All right, uh, problem number six. Okay, this is another pair that has nothing to do with the transversal. Okay, let me, let me do that again. All right, I'm going to, again, erase the transversal because this angle pair has nothing to do with that. Um, and in fact, you really can focus in just on this part right here. This is going to be a linear pair. All right, this is a linear pair. Because you can see that together, the X and the Y form a straight line. So that makes these two a linear pair. All right, the rest of the picture doesn't matter. Okay, um, moving on to number seven, this is going to be um, 
these are corresponding angles. All right, these are corresponding angles. Now, when I talk about corresponding angles, um, let's look at this group of four angles that I just colored in yellow. And then let's look at this group of four that I just colored in blue. Um, can you notice that angle Y is the lower right hand angle, right? It's the bottom right. And can you notice that angle X is also in the bottom right? So that's what makes these corresponding angles. They're in the same position within their group. Okay, so whenever you see the two angles that are in the same position, like bottom right, bottom right, that's going to be your corresponding angles. Okay, now what's going on here? I feel like we already did these. These are once again alternate exterior angles. Alternate because they are on opposite sides of the transversal and exterior because they are not in the middle. They're not inside the sandwich. They're outside the sandwich. All right, moving on. Name the angle pair, then find the measure of the angle indicated by the question mark. You'll use each term exactly once. Okay, that's helpful. Um, don't forget that these arrows mean that we have parallel lines. And when you have parallel lines, um, these special angle pairs are either going to be congruent or they will be supplementary. So uh, the 85 and the question mark, these are corresponding angles. And uh, when the lines are parallel, corresponding angles are congruent. Okay, so I feel like I should squeeze that in. So corresponding angles are congruent. So that's why the question mark will also be 85 degrees. Looking at number 10, um, this is a linear pair. So if you look at the question mark angle, and then if you look at the 83, All right, hopefully you can see that together they make a straight line. This has nothing to do with the lines being parallel or cut by a transversal. This is true um, no matter what. So these, um, a linear pair, well, I guess I need to write that down, linear pair. A linear pair is always supplementary. All right, so I'm just going to squeeze that in right here, supplementary. So they have to add up to 180. Okay, so um, you should be able to do this in your head, but 180 minus 83 is 97. All right, use a calculator if you really need to. All right, so these two have to add up to 180. That's why the question mark is 97. Okay, these are alternate exterior angles. Alternate exterior. All right, they are on opposite sides of the line and they're outside of the of the middle. They're they're outside of the sandwich. Okay? Now, if the lines are parallel, Alternate exterior angles are going to be congruent. So I'm just going to squeeze that in here somewhere. Congruent. Right? These were supplementary. Um, so if this angle is 90 degrees, then the question mark is also 90 degrees. Now, looking at problem number 12, these are consecutive interior angles.
all right? That's interior angles. They are interior because they are between these parallel lines. Okay, so they are interior. They are consecutive because they're on the same side of the line. Um, now, consecutive interior angles are going to be supplementary if the lines are parallel. Okay, so just somewhere in your notes here, supplementary. So if this is 100, then the other one must be 80. All right, they have to add up to 180. Okay, these are vertical angles. All right, remember, this is the angle pair that does not rely in any way on having uh, a transversal. All right, vertical angles happen whenever you have intersecting lines like this. And vertical angles are always congruent. Um, so if this one is 66, then the other one is also 66. Okay, these two are alternate interior angles. Alternate interior. They are interior because they are between the lines. Okay, these angles are between the lines, so they are interior. Alternate means they are on opposite sides of the line. If the lines are parallel, alternate interior angles will be congruent. So we have to memorize that. So um, if, if this angle is 63, then the question mark is also 63. Find all, find the measure of all missing angles, label your answers right on the diagram. So we have parallel lines, uh, but let's start off with vertical angles. So this is 126, so this will be 126 right there because vertical angles are always congruent. Um, now let's do Let's do our linear pairs next. Okay, for example, see this yellow angle right here? And do you see the blue angle that's right here? All right, can you see that together they make a straight line? That means they are supplementary. So they have to add up from 180. They have to add up to 180. So if I do 180 minus 126, that leaves 54 degrees. So that tells me that this angle right here is going to be, you know what, maybe I'll change colors a little bit. Okay, I'll use the purple for this. So this is going to be 54 degrees. Now these are vertical angles. So this will also be 54 degrees. Okay. Now let's do corresponding angles. So we have this group of four and we have another group of four up here. So corresponding angles are going to be in the same position. So can you see that this yellow angle right here is in the same position as this yellow angle right here? And can you see that this angle that I'm going to color in blue right here is in the same position as this blue angle right here? So the yellow and the yellow and the blue and the blue, those are corresponding angles. All right, and corresponding angles are congruent when the lines are parallel, which they are. So both of these yellows are going to be 54, all right? They're both in the same position. That's what makes them corresponding. They're both in the top left uh, corner. And both of the blue angles are going to be congruent. 
Okay, so they will both be 126 degrees. And then we could either use corresponding angles or vertical angles, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, this is going to be 126, all right, either because these are vertical angles or you could go that these two are corresponding angles. And, um, and then the other angle is going to be 54. And again, you could either look at it as these are going to be vertical angles, so those will be the same. Or you could look at these 54s because they are corresponding. Okay, let's do that one more time over here. All right, it was so much fun. Let's do it again. So, um, start with the vertical angles. This is 135, so that means this will be 135, all right? These are vertical angles. Now, let's do our linear pair, okay? So, um, here is this yellow angle right here. And check out this blue angle right here. All right, together they make a straight line. You know they have to be supplementary. So we could just subtract from 180. That is 45 degrees. So this is going to be 45 degrees. All right, looking back at vertical angles, that tells us that this will also be 45 degrees. Now let's do corresponding angles. Can you see that this yellow angle is in the same position as this yellow angle is? All right, they're both in the top left. Can you see that this blue angle is in the same position as the other blue angle? All right, so the yellows are corresponding angles and the blues are corresponding angles. So let's just match them, match them right up. So both yellow angles have to be the same. So that means that this is going to be 45 degrees. And both of the blue angles have to be the same, which means that, whoops, I wanted to do red, which means that this will be 135 degrees. And then you can do vertical angles or corresponding angles to tell you that this angle will be 135 degrees. All right, vertical angles or corresponding angles. Either way, this is 135. Similarly, the final angle will have to be 45 degrees, either because these are vertical angles or because these two are corresponding angles. And that is it for this assignment.